I, I feels like a different life. Yeah? Yeah, it feels like an old, like I've actually, I'm in it, I'm, I have a new everything. Yeah. Which is... A new everything. I can dig it. Which is crazy. Um, well, what do you want to talk about in this video? Like, what are you, what are you, what are you wanting to convey? Yeah, so, I want to tell the story of what happened, or how it, how it came about. And the that, record? Mm hmm okay. And then that year. And then why it's called what it's called. Okay, so, um, what's the story? Tell me what happened. I went to Toronto to play a, um, I don't even know what, I guess, like a conference or something. I can't remember what it's called right now. I should know. I'm a musician. A convention? Yeah, but it's like for people to see you. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh, I know. I know. What you're, what's the word? I know what you're talking about. It's like, uh, hey, check out our new artist. Anyways. It's a C word. I feel like I know what you're trying to say. It's like a... Showcase. Showcase! showcase. It's an S word. <laughs> it's an S C. It's one of those soft Cs. And then they were like, you might as well write with some people. And I got put in a room with a guy named Rob. And his first name is Latch. And... We wrote the first two songs on the record in our first two feet. We wrote Pin Bombs, Standing Still. Okay. So, um, two of the songs on the record. And then I was like, that's it. Let's go back. I flew back for three weeks. And at the end of the, at the end of the three weeks, we, we had an album, which is, which is, um, crazy, but it wasn't me. It was all him. But, I had some what stories. Do you, what do you mean it was all him? I've never worked with anybody who's that that fast and that much of a chameleon. Okay. He just like listened and zoned in and went for it. And um, I would like to say it's our record. Yeah. It's not. Uh, they're my stories, but I couldn't deliver them without him. Which right. is cool. <laughs> cool to find, man. <laughs> I I don't even know. Music's hard without the right people. All things, art is all hard. All art is hard if you don't have, it's like a, your dancing partner, right? Like yeah. sometimes you you find the right partner and you'll find yourself doing things and mm -hmm. making steps and moves that you've never made before and you're like, fuck, mm -hmm. how did I do that? Yeah. I don't know, it's like confidence, it's energy, it's like a whole lot of things, right? Yeah. And trust, we didn't plan anything. I didn't have one song. And my boyfriend, who the half the record is about, was like, it's the only time I ever doubted you. You flew to Toronto, you didn't have a song. Which yeah. <laughs> is crazy now. Yeah. But it worked out. And the album starts on that corner. Francis and Commercial. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got the phone call and, and said, like, goodbye. Packed up everything out of that apartment. So you're living, so, do you, MS is invasive. You don't have to answer this, but mm. you're like living here with somebody that you yeah. were leaving behind. Yes. And so they didn't know that you were leaving? No, they, they knew he was going to leave too. I gave my keys to my friend who lives there now. She's probably in there. What's up? Um, yeah, I gave. I sold my car for almost nothing. Um, the whole first song is literally just this, like standing on that corner. I know I've listened, to, I've listened to it many watching times. Watching my car drive down this street, like, oh my god, like. Bye. Bye. Um. But yeah, the whole record is is. I think I was telling you earlier. It's like, it's not. It's not. Uh, there's nothing fancy. It's like, hey, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. And. Maybe it's boring, but it's at least it's truthful. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's boring. It's very slow. It's a slow record. Yeah. I don't think it's boring. Yeah. If it's honest, it's got something that a lot of things don't have. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. No, it's definitely... I'm not hiding behind anything. And there's no metaphors. It's like... <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's April 1st. I gave up this place. Mm-hmm. And then April 14th, April 16th, I think, 
I flew out of Toronto when the album was done. So mm -hmm. the album is called April, and it's about an April. It's in April, mm -hmm. and just like the the album, there's well, that's probably just the name of it. <laughs> Again, it's like <laughs> that. That's what happened. That's when it happened. Uh, it really is a timestamp, and um, I dove into owning almost nothing. The little blue suitcase that I had today is mm -hmm. that's it. And um, traveling around and falling in love with, I fell in love with a human, and then like re fell in love with the world. Mm -hmm. Everything, strangers and food and people, because of the the first hit of love or whatever that felt like or whatever it was, the whole world became interesting mm -hmm. and adventurous. And um, I don't know, it's like nothing, nothing mattered. Um, so that's, that's where we still are. It's like, I think there's a line is we found love when we gave it all up. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it exists always and things don't help it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not that they can be great, but, um, things don't make a difference. A lot of the time they can just stay way down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so here we are. Oh, here we are. Full circle. Full circle. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I uh I do not feel like the same person. That's crazy. You're not. Yeah, I don't think I am. I just like if there's anything that I learned that I wish I knew back then is like you can handpick your life and I, I didn't know that when I was that person mm -hmm. on the corner of commercial and Francis but I had an inkling mm -hmm. and when I said goodbye it was like the first taste of like freedom freedom and careful selection of, of existence really but um Frick, I'm happy to be here. Looks like we're doing pretty good. <laughs> right on.